Do you know that many medical parts or devices are made using plastic injection molding? Yes. But what is plastic injection molding, and why do most manufacturers favor the process? Hello, welcome to another Rapid Direct video. In this video, you will learn how plastic injection molding applies to the medical device industry. Before introducing the advantages, you need to know what plastic injection molding is. Plastic injection molding involves melting the plastic material and injecting it into a mold with the intended design. You can learn more from our other video of the injection molding process. Now let's move on. Why choose plastic injection molding for medical parts or devices production? The commonest reason is that there are many medical grade plastic options to choose from. And each plastic polymer has unique properties that make it suitable for the medical industry. For example, polyethylene EE is applicable in making wearable medical devices that are non-heat sterilizable due to its less heat resistance. On the other hand, polypropylene PP, has high heat resistance, making it suitable for heat sterilization. Aside from that, it is lightweight, affordable, and resistant to radiation, chemicals, electricity, and organic solvents. Polystyrene PS, offers good impact resistance and dimensional stability, and it's also non-toxic, inexpensive, odorless, FDA-compliant, and lightweight. It is suitable for making petri dishes and test tubes. Polyetherothercotone, or PEAK, has high chemical, radiation, heat, and wear resistance. It is applicable in making orthopedic devices and dental implants. Polycarbonate PC, is a strong and flexible thermoplastic with resistance to vibration, heat, impact, and UV light. It has good dimensional stability and is often used in medical devices. The second advantage is the cost efficiency. On the one hand, plastics are cheaper than their metallic counterparts. On the other hand, with mass production, plastic injection molding reduces the cost per unit part compared to processes such as CNC machining and 3D printing. Another important and common reason some would favor plastic injection molding over other processes is its high volume repeatability. With the right mold, you can make many parts with the same standards. Now let's check out plastic injection molding applications in the medical device industry. Plastic injection molding is widely applicable in the medical device industry in several ways. A common application is used in making equipment for dental x-rays. The process is suitable due to its flexibility in manufacturing dental x-ray equipment with complex designs. Another application of the process is in orthopedics, where the process is applicable in making devices such as spacers, clips, and fastener devices, etc. Due to the low production cost, patients can easily access orthopedic devices at a low cost. Lastly, the process is applicable in manufacturing drug delivery components and equipment. It is suitable for making lab supplies such as test tubes, beakers, and containers. Well, there are several factors you need to consider before starting a medical injection molding project. The most important factor is the properties of the material. You must choose a material that can adequately deliver the desired purposes of the product. For example, if you are looking for abrasion resistance, chemical resistance, durability, and strength, examples of plastic materials that should come to your mind are polyamide and polycarbonate. The choice of medical plastic parts should also be based on how easy to sterilize them. One method is heat sterilization which requires the plastic to be heat resistant. If you would go for chemical sterilization, another method, ensure you choose a stable and unreactive plastic. The choice of plastic should also be based on the environment of use. Therefore, you should look at their compatibility with different extreme environments. For example, in a hot operating environment, Check for properties like thermal resistance and abrasion resistance. Like any other industry, durability is important when starting a medical injection molding project. Last on the list of factors to consider is the regulation of the FDA and adherence to the ISO standards, which will directly decide if your medical plastic products get to the market. Okay. Hope this video has helped you learn plastic injection molding in the medical industry and how to use the process for your business. Nevertheless, if you are looking for a reputable injection molding service provider, Rapid Direct is yours. We have experience cooperating with the medical industry and are ISO 13485 certified. We use quality at a competitive price and short lead time. Why not contact us today? Okay, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you find this video enlightening. See you next time. Bye.